real solutions to money, relationships, wellness, and more. Shine a light onto your day and into your life. Power your life with Dr. Joanne White. Welcome to Power Your Life. I'm Joanne White, your host. And my first guest has helped transform the lives of many Hollywood A-listers and people all over the world. Shaman Durek is with us talking about his work helping others achieve balance and harmony in their everyday lives. Welcome, Shaman Durek. Uh, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. My pleasure. So not everybody knows what a shaman is. Will you explain it to us? Yes. A shaman is a person who is a bridge to the spirit world. But in truth, we are the preservers of life. We preserve humans, we preserve nature, and we preserve animals. And so we are here to, to be a steward for people here on Earth. And I love that word, steward, because I think, we're, I think everybody needs to be a steward on, on Earth. Don't I, you agree? I 100% agree. Thank you. Yes. Now, your mother saw signs early on within you, and it was signs that said that you were going to be the next spiritual leader. You've come from a line of spiritual leaders. What signs did she see, Sean? My mother, you know, one of the things that my family and my ancestry talked about, my great-grandmother, who was a powerful medicine woman, she said that there was going to be a child that was born that was going to have this immense power to love which my mom saw immediately when I was a child. They said I was going to have a birthmark on the left side of my body, which I do. And she also said that I was gonna go into trances where I would be speaking to my ancestors. And a lot of times she said when I was a kid that I would go fall on the floor and I would go into trances and I would literally start speaking the names of my ancestors. So these are some of the signs. The other thing was when she was pregnant, she said that she had visitors from angels and different beings that came to her and told her that I was coming. Right. Do you remember any of that when you were younger? I remember talking and seeing my ancestors, yes. And I do remember times where I ran away from my mom to go and hug strangers and tell them things that, that God wanted me to tell them. And how did, they, how did the strangers receive that? They cried. Yeah, because it was very moving. Yes. You were touching a part of them that, that needed to be touched, yes. right? Yes. You also have been to Turkey, you've been all over the world, and you teach about empowerment, and you've worked with women and, and helped to empower women. How do you help women, not only women, but everybody, be and feel empowered? You know, empowerment is, it's, it's, it's different for each person, right. right? What empowers a person? But when it comes to my work with women, it's about getting them to recognize who they are and why they are. You know, most women come into this world thinking that they are, you know, a sin to God and that they have to go through suffering and give childbirth and have, you know, a lot of, you know, subservient ways to make up for this horrible act that they created, supposedly. I'm here to teach women to recognize themselves as a vessel for not just the planet, but for all of us to really recognize the gifts that they bring. They also follow the cycles of the earth. You know, they go through their, I call it their moon cycles, you know, and right. they're constantly giving away. They have a child, they hold on to that child, the child give away. Right. They're giving away their milk, they're giving away everything. And so it's about filling up their vessels and giving back to themselves. So women need to know how to fill up. Absolutely. Okay. So, Absolutely. So when you do that, and oftentimes you're working in countries where you said where women are subservient, how are the men receiving that information? Because you're helping women to feel stronger and empowered and loving themselves. What are the men experiencing? You know, it's a funny thing because at first the men are not happy with me. I'm sure. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually a threat into their family system. And then they realize over time, they realize that what, what they're doing is actually hurting themselves. You know, I always say when we do something that's not in alignment to truth or authenticity, we're not doing anything against another person, we're actually doing it against right, ourselves. ourselves. And so when they're doing this to their counterpart, which is in fact what, they're, what they don't realize is that when they say two becomes one, it really is this beautiful uh, symbiosis. Com coming together. Yes, right. so you're actually, you're affecting yourself. And so what I get them to recognize is that if your wife, your lover, your girlfriend, mm -hmm. you were to allow her to fill up her vessel the expectation of what is expected of you would be different. You would feel less pressure. 
and men base a lot of their stuff on pressure. Because the, the women would feel filled up and they wouldn't feel un incomplete or, or upset or demand, right? You're brilliant, absolutely. Well, so are you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> My question, though, is doesn't that take time? Because people are used to having an experience and, and having life the way it is, and here you're coming in with something that's almost revolutionary in their lives. How do they get to that transition place? You see, when you're working with a shaman, or the way that I operate, is I don't believe that this is something that you have to keep working on. You know, when people come to me, they're like, you know, that's gonna take a long time, I have a lot of work to do. I'm like, no, it's now. The moment you actually make the internal change now, everything around you begins to change as well. And I always say to people, you can't change the people outside, but you can change yourself. And I, I so believe that because once you start that process, it's amazing that, that everything is changing. Yes. Do are, are men recognizing it too? Or is Absolutely. everybody recognizing I, it? Muslim men have come to me and have said, thank you for what you've done. It has changed my life at home. It has given me so much less pressure where I don't feel like I'm constantly running around being this male, because men get their power by creating things and having purpose in that creation. So they feel less pressure. Well, I think you're helping everybody feel more fulfilled, right? Yes. Okay, good. I mean, that's my, that's my, that, that's, that's my life, but for my reason for being. Well, it's a wonderful reason for being, and you are incredible. More with Shaman Durek and Power Your Life after the break. Please.